Shopify Dawn theme customization step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with customizing the Dawn theme on Shopify. Now, this is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial and we are going to take everything step by step. So, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you're in your Shopify dashboard, click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store on the left, you will see your current theme. And if you scroll down, you will see some free themes available. And you can add any of these free themes into your theme gallery or library to be able to set up a store without currently publishing it. So I have the Dawn theme added over here, and this is a blank version of the Dawn theme. So this is like the default version, and I'm going to get started with customization of this theme. So to customize it, click on customize on the left, and you can get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is from the top, you will see a panel. This panel allows you to save your designs, view them in different formats such as a desktop view, a mobile view, or a full screen view. Then on the top center, you have the option to select the type of page that you want. So we're going to choose a blank Dawn theme, and I'm going to delete any other variation of the Dawn theme that we have like this. And we're going to wait for a completely blank Dawn theme that we can customize. So over here, this is our home page for a blank Dawn theme. Now on the top, you have the option to select the page you want to customize. One thing to note is that if you edit anything in a page template, so for example, if I take this product page over here, and in this product page, I click on add section, and I add a text section or any type of section, it will be displayed across all product sections. So whenever you're making changes to product templates or page templates, make sure that those changes are applicable throughout your entire page sections or build a new template for an individual page and then keep the rest the same. Now on the left, you have a exit and then at the leftmost panel, you have the options of sections. Then you have your theme settings and these are your global theme settings, which you can alter. This includes adding your logo, colors, typography, animations, and other variations that you might want. This enables you to just select the type of theme that you are going for, and then having those themes applied throughout all of the sections in your Shopify theme. Then on the left, you also have app embeds, which allow you to enable app embedding in your Shopify store. Now we're gonna go back into sections and start editing. Now, before we do that, we might want to customize the header. And in your header, you're going to have your logo. Now, our logo hasn't been inserted. So to insert your logo, click on theme settings on the left and then click on logo. Click on select image and then you can choose to upload your images by clicking on add images. I already have my logo uploaded, so I'm just going to select that logo from here. So now that I have uploaded my logo, I can choose the size that I want it to appear on. So this will be the size that it appears on on desktop. So let's say I want it to be slightly larger, let's say 160 pixels. And then below that, we also have color customizations or themes that we can build. Now we're going to go into the next section, which is our header section directly in the sections. So first off, I'm going to delete the announcement bar and then I'll click on header. Once I click on header, I can reposition my logo by clicking on the desktop logo position and I'll place it at the middle center like this. Now, once I've done that, I can scroll down and I have the option of my menu. By default, Shopify will add your main menu and your menu section, and you can customize this later on. Now, for further customizations of the Dawn theme, you can choose the type of desktop menu you want. So I want this to be a drop-down menu, and I don't want this to be a sticky menu. Now, after that, I have the color schemes, and you can click on change to change it to any other color scheme for your header section. I'm going to keep it at the default scheme one, and you can even build your own color schemes. So if I want to build my own color scheme, I can click on edit and start editing this pre-existing scheme or click on change and then build my own. Now below that you have your mobile logo positioning as well as your spacing. So I want to reduce the spacing and I'll reduce the top padding to zero as well as the bottom padding to zero as well. Because my logo size is pretty large, I don't need any other type of padding in my header. 
Now this is only the first section. The second section is your image banner on the DOM theme. So click on the image banner and click on select image and then upload any image you want to use as your banner. I'll be using this image from here and you can add two images as well. And you can even build customizations to display one image on mobile devices and the other on other sorts of devices such as desktop or larger devices. However, if you add two images like this, they will appear side by side, which cannot look a bit professional sometimes because, you know, it just depends on your personal style, how you want it to appear. But I am going to remove the second image and only keep this first image that I have already designed. And after that, we have the size of the banner. So I might want to make this a small banner, a medium banner or a large one. I'll make this into a medium banner and you can even adapt it to the image size that you have uploaded. So we are going to keep this as a medium banner and below that you have your desktop content positioning. So if you wanted to focus on this top right or if you want the content to be at the middle left like this, if you want it to be at the center. So I want this to be at the middle center like this over here. Once I've done that, I can scroll down and I have the color scheme, which I'm going to change to theme number one, or I think I'm going to go with theme four because I want my text color to be white. After that, you have any animations you might want to add, and then you also have mobile layout options. Once we've done that, we can click on the heading text and start customizing it from the left. So I'll add luxury coats are back or luxury cashmere coats are back are here and then after that we have a button at the bottom and i'm going to change the button to say shop now instead of saying shop all because it goes better and then on the left you have the option to link your button so i'm going to link it to a particular collection and that will be my cashmere collection once i've done that i've built the first two sections of my dawn theme below that in the dawn themes default template you have featured products you can click on the featured collection from the left panel and rename it as well. So I might want to rename it to my hot sellers. And then below that, you have the option to display a certain collection. Currently, it's displaying all of the products in my store. However, I'm going to change this and only display, let's say, items that are from our cashmere collection or from our cotton collection. And you can choose any type of collection that you want in this way. Plus, if you don't require this particular section and you have multiple customizations in this as well, such as the number of products you want to display, as well as the maximum products, let's say I want to display only four, and then you have the view all style, the product card customization. However, it might not work for all stores and businesses. So you can click on delete on the left and click on add section to add your own section. This might include a list of your collections or either a featured product or featured collections. So for us, I want to add a collections list. And what I will do is I want to display three collections and I'll select one collection for each block. One is going to be our cashmere one. The second one is going to be displaying our cotton collection. And the third one is going to be displaying our silk collection. And then after that, you can insert a particular image for your collection as well. So if we take a look at our collections list, you have to go into your collections on your Shopify dashboard to add a particular image to represent those collections. So you guys can see if I go into my Shopify dashboard, click on product and then click on collections. I have these. And then in the cotton one, what I'm going to do is click on add image on the right. And now once I click on add image on the right, I will choose a collection image like this and then just click on save on the top right. Then I'm going to go into the silk one and then click on add image. And then I will add another image over here like this and click on open and then click on save on the top right. And then finally, I will add the cashmere image and I'll be using this image and then I'll click on save on the top right. And once you do that, those images will be inserted directly into your Shopify Dawn theme. So whatever image you want to use to be displayed, you want to go ahead and add that in your collections under product in the Shopify dashboard. Now, this is just one home page. If you want to further make your home page more elaborative, we can add a section and add a featured product. 
and in our featured product i want to rename this so we have this featured product and i can select a product let's say for us this is going to be our cashmere sweater and now i might want to customize the appearance of these two sections i don't want a white background so i will change this and i will click on change and then i will add a different color scheme like this and then for our featured product i'm going to do the same thing where i'm going to add a black color scheme for these two products or if i want i can even add a gray scheme like this or even a blush pink color scheme so it really is up to your personal preferences on how you want to stylize your store and then for the text i want to make it a solid black color like this now after that we might want to also display more collections so if you want to do that you can go into your collections list and increase the number of collections from the left toolbar over here now i want the heading size to be small and then we have the image ratio i want to keep it square you can also adapt it to image or add a portrait or add square versions and then you also have top and bottom padding that is inserted. I'm going to reduce the bottom padding to zero because I don't need that much of a distance between my featured product and my collections list. Now in our featured product, all of the information about the product will be automatically displayed. Let's say I want to remove the quantity selector from here and the buy now buttons from here, or maybe I want to keep the buy now buttons. I'll remove the share icon, the text over here and only keep this information and i can remove the dynamic buttons so people can only add this to cart and not purchase the product directly and after that once i have completed these changes i can click on save on the top right and our shopify homepage has been completely customized now for our darn theme if you want to build further customizations we can just select from the top panel and then select the page we want to customize so for example, if I want to customize my product pages, I can click on home page, click on product, and then just click on default product. Once I do that, I can customize the appearance of the product pages by one simple click. So now all of my product pages will have this blush pink background with black text, and then I can click on save. Now let's take a look at the current customizations we've done to this Dawn theme. So I'll click on preview over here to see what the store looks like. And this is what our store currently looks like. It looks pretty nice. And if I go into my contact section, order tracking section, it's um, by, built by default. And then if I take a look at our product info, even though this is not the product we converted into a blush pink background, it does have a blush pink background. If I open up any other product, all of them will follow the same pattern. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to customize your Shopify Dawn theme. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.